YouTube Heavyweight Gaming back again with a new Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. Last time we played we achieved Eivor's lifelong goal of slaying Kyotve the Cruel. Although we managed to slay the Oathbreaker, his son Gorum would not allow the conflict to end and kept the fighting going. Ultimately though he ended up fleeing the area. Now we look to reconvene with King Harold and celebrate our win. Keep your eyes on my social media and channel for updates. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications. Here we go! YouTube back again. So we've just slain Kyotve the Cruel. Unfortunately, Gorum fled. And although Avar is not happy about it, he's going to take the win for now uh, on the advice of Sigurd. So what we're going to do, we do have to reach uh, Alrikstead and join the feast. But I think I'm going to try to loot some gold in the meantime real quick. Get some of those ingots. Alright, let's see. If I remember correctly. Oh, I guess the horse is not going to jump down. Alright, no problem. Oh, I meant to hit the the tent, but oh well. We'll pick up some uh, cloudberry, get our health back up. Let's see, yes, this house. Now, how do we get in? Is there a window anywhere? Gotta be some way in. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. In the, in the pots. Nope. Let's do a little circle. There must be a way into this place. Let's see, can I attack? Nope. Hmm, I can see in. It's not in the shed. It's definitely inside this house, but how do I get in? Get some cloud here. Hmm. And there's nobody around either. Okay, the gold is here. But nothing I can do about it. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. Let's just uh. Let's just go meet up with uh, Sigurd and King Harald. So, it's theory. Uh, since we've slain Kjotfe, I believe uh, what the pro Valka's prophecy was about us betraying Sigurd is Sigurd somehow was responsible for uh, Kjotve coming in to the village. And Avar didn't know. Nobody knew. <laughs> So that's where Avar is going to have to end up, you know, either fighting against Sigurd. Avar is going to have to fight against Sigurd because of that. Like s for some reason, that's that's going to be the fallout, or Sigurd did something else that we don't know about. We finally made it to Elrikstad. So let's go find Sigurd and King Harald and enjoy some some revelry. Wait, did I just pass Sigurd? Where did Sigurd go? Everyone in Alrekstad there play their love game so loudly. No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife. Ooh. Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. <laughs> Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. I said it was distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it, smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only a... Uh, well... All right. I'm not sure if this is a matter you want to get involved with. Weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes. Yes. Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And <laughs> scream as you do, like it is really happening. All right. Is that helping? Maybe you could start by breaking things. It is amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes, burn down our house, <laughs> burn it to the ground. Uh, 
How exactly do I do that? It's time for me to leave. What did it? I am as hard as I'm nails tall. Then run me like the Baldwin skate. Take all the plunder you want, the big king. Take us home, so let's go. All right. Let's let those two uh, time, lovers baby. do their things. But I will help myself to your chest. Where is Cedar? Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction. Don't be shy. I have to go. See you soon. Yeah, I got things to do, man. I gotta find Sigurd. Oh, he came back up. Where is this guy? Maybe in this long house here. Nope. Well, according to this, I am close. So let's start. Jumping in some houses. Nope, not this one. Let's try this one. Okay. Oh, I'm off. <sighs> I don't have time to do that. Oh, so it's still in this direction So it's he's somewhere here. Ah, a thirsty foe. Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. 
Not the best time. Is it the silver or the courage you're lacking? My boy, I need the challenger. Oh, finally, holy. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's troops. Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. I resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Hmm. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. <laughs> so long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. Hmm. Not the greatest at subtlety, but I'll give it a shot. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. I would put on a hood. In case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trip. to work. Okay. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. <gasps> oh, chill. I guess I gotta walk, can't really run. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, you have to eat something before Why drinking that stranger? much. How does that go? Hey. Feed before you're oh. finished. That did not work at all. Are they still coming? I guess walking in right in front of the guards was not the best idea. Oh, 
Well, so much for that. Try this cloak again. Evil, you Arga shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Ooh. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. Again? Let's go find her. Let's hope this ride isn't as long as the last one. Come on. How is this horse so tired? I'll have to do it myself. Let this guy rest a little bit. Hmm. I wonder how far up I have to go this time. Very far. Oh, never mind. Here's another one. All right, this looks like the place. Achieved great things. They buried Hafdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arms near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. Mm. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, 
Who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjord. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eva. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eva, a wolf kissed. You are Kjortvi's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Hmm. I'm tempted to see. You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. Gotta let the king decide. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me, not a word, and I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall, you'll drink adult cow, alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörnjar. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Hmm. What to choose? I dream of a glorious death. But not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. I love the language. Take tomorrow to think on this.
Maybe this is where we betray Seeker. Harold's colors is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Alright. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Thanks for watching. We traveled to Alfred and attended King Harold's celebratory feast and even learned a new trick from Hassan. King Harold surprised everyone by also proposing to unite the kingdoms under his leadership. Now we must choose who we are loyal to. Be sure to watch, like, comment, and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed. Take care.